Depressed? No, I wouldn't say that I'm depressed. I think I look a little silly. Um, you know, deciding whether or not to go with my big fat lip and my missing teeth over this medical mask. But I find that with the medical mask, people are a little bit more used to that. Um, whereas if I'm going with kind of the way that it looks thus far, it's, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, you know, you kind of get eyeballs. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, and, and I'm just trying to distract from that because I'm just trying to be as normal as I can until Friday when I get my, my new temporary teeth. And then hopefully week, two weeks from there, I'll get, you know, my new bridge. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. But first, I want to show you kind of how it's progressing. And some of you might say, you know, it looks pretty good. And for those of you, I want to punch you in the face because it doesn't look pretty good. It, it looks pretty nasty. And then I got, you know, this whole tooth thing happening here, which oddly gives me a strange craving for crack. But, uh, uh, you know, I just feel like every stereotypical, you know, kind of druggy character I've ever seen on TV. But the... The interesting psychology what I'm going through right now is is losing my teeth um, and feeling like a closeness to my teeth that I never really thought about before. Um, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I have a gap, a small gap in between my two front teeth. And as a kid, I, I kind of got made fun of a lot for that. The gap was a lot bigger when I was a kid. Um, and I've always kind of been made fun of for that as, as, a, young, as a younger person. And so there was this thing that happened in me where I had to get used to and proud of that and proud of my smile. You know, like a lot of us when we were younger, you know, we, we had to grow into who we were. And I grew into that smile. I grew into that gap. Um, and I started to appreciate it um, and recognize it as distinctly me. And even though I feel like I'm the same person, uh, you know, I lost a, two teeth. I didn't lose a, a, a part of me, but I, I lost something that belonged to me. I, I lost a piece of my past. Um, and that's kind of been an interesting process of going through. I would think that people that have lost a limb or um, something like that might, might go through something far more dramatic, of course, uh, but along the same lines in the same family. So I'm just kind of dealing with that. Um, I'm really excited about the dentist I found. Um, he made me just feel very confident that the new bridge I'm going to get is going to be, you know, better than my old smile. Um, but he's been great. Uh, he went and saw us on a Sunday night, um, came back from whatever he was doing. He was in casual clothes, no assistance in his office. He just did the work himself. Um, he pulled out my old tooth, which was killing me. Um, and uh, so that was pretty cool. So... I'll probably check in again on Friday um, when I get the new bridge and, and the temporary teeth, and we'll just kind of see how it's going. But until then, uh, until then, I am still working. I am still um, going to be getting some things done. I'm just going to be doing less face-to-face -face work. But, um, you know, we're opening a new studio this week. We're offering, you know, videos for, you know, one video for $150. Uh, it's a good deal. And so I've got like four people lined up that want that. So we're going to serve them. And we're not going to let this stop us. So thanks for checking in.